coffee. Coffee helps getting out of a funk. Facts. Hey guys, it's Alyssa and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about how to get out of a funk. So I'm sure we all have been in a funk at some point or another. I've been in quite a few. I'm like the funk queen. <laughs> um, I get into a funk, honestly, sadly, very often. And they can last anywhere from like just a couple of days of feeling off to like for me weeks on end of just feeling just totally out of place. So because I've been in a funk so often, I kind of know exactly how to help myself get out of it um, and I'm going to be sharing with you those ways. Okay, so I have eight ways. Um, I know it's a weird number, <laughs> but the first one is to find something or someone to ground you, if that makes sense, to pull you back out of the funk. Um, some people refer to that as like a talisman in a way. So for some people that is something like a, if you like to play a musical instrument or maybe you like to do puzzles, I don't know. Um, and for some people that's a person. For me it's usually a person. Um, I have a couple people in my life that I know if I talk to them or hang out with them, it'll kind of pull me back in from my rut that I'm having, my funk. Piggybacking off of that is to talk and hang out with people in general. Don't coop yourself up. Um, I know when you are in a funk, it's really hard to want to go talk to people, want to go hang out with people. Kind of hard to with COVID. <laughs> but FaceTime your friends, hang out with them if you can, go out to eat if you can, if you're comfortable with that because of COVID obviously, and just get yourself out there so you're not cooped up because it's, it's, you're not gonna get out of your funk if you're just staying in your room all cooped up and sad, you know? The next way is to take a break. This is different for every kind of person. Um, Take a break as in just take like a mental break. Take a break as in take a day off of work. Take a break as in take a vacation for a week, a mini vacation for a long weekend. Um, I think getting away from what is causing your funk, your life, <laughs> um, is a good way to get out of it. Is to just kind of take a break, get away from it, reflect elsewhere, um, and then come back and get back into the groove of things. Me personally, that is that is what I do. Um, there was a lot of times too that I, I just sometimes I needed a day off work. Like a, a mental health day is what I would call it. Like sometimes that's just needed and there's no shame in it. The next way to get out of a funk is to build a new routine. Um, a lot of the time, majority of the time, I feel like we get into funks because we are in the same routine all of the time and it gets just, it's, it's not, it's not it. <laughs> so to get out of that is to build a new routine, do something different, switch it around, add something new into your routine. However you wanna build your new routine, build it. The next way is to exercise. And I know you're thinking, ugh, why would I want to exercise? I feel you. If you're not super into exercising and going to the gym, it doesn't have to necessarily be that. It's more just kind of like get out there and get your body moving. So take a walk, take your dogs for a walk if you have them. Um, just go out into the world, into nature, go to a park. Um, if you have little kids or something, take them to the park just like get your body moving in that kind of aspect you don't have to go and do some crazy ass exercise it's just in the sense of getting your body moving and just getting out of your house or wherever you are that you feel that you are in a rut the next way to get out of a funk is to clean and or change your surroundings by the surroundings i mean your room your family room your office space whatever it is wherever you spend a lot of time at Clean it and then change it. Move your bed around, move your desk around. I don't know, move whatever around. Add new decor pieces. Um, especially, I feel like for a lot of people, it's their office space. Change your office space, change it completely. Do a whole 180 and change it. Um, it kind of goes in with the building a new routine in my opinion, it's just the concept of change. Um, I feel like changing your routine, changing your space, change in general helps you get out of a funk. The next way is to do an activity that you find relaxing or calming or whatever. Um, I think that's just a really good way to not keep you in a funk, is to keep your mind preoccupied in a sense with something that you know 
brings you peace. <laughs> um, so that obviously, like I said, can be whatever you like. For some people, that's working out. For some people, like me, it's YouTube. Um, for some people, it's social media in general. For some people, like I said, it's playing a musical instrument, listening to music, um, taking a bath. I don't know, literally whatever that you find relaxing and what calms you and brings you peace of mind, do it. And then the last one, kind of cheesy, but like, whatever is to create a vision board or mood board as people call it um if you don't know what that is it's literally just compiling a bunch of usually just pictures of things that you want in life or what you want out of a specific sometimes it's just an event but usually it's based off of like your vision for your life your vision for the next five years for the next year whatever and a lot of people do this as a physical board i used to have one actually on my wall it's not there anymore um where i literally printed off pictures and i put them on my wall that way i could see it every day and it was just pictures of things that i wanted in my life what i expected to accomplish in my life in the next x amount of years um people would put that in journals pinterest is a great way um they actually have boards um on the app for example i have a couple of boards um and they're not all in the sense of like a vision board it's just things i like but same thing um you can go on pinterest and save all of these wonderful pictures that you feel some type of way about i don't know and add them to your vision board your mood board um i just think that's a good way to get out of a funk because it's reminding yourself of what you want to accomplish what you want to be um and you can see that while you're sitting in your funk and it'll help pull you out of it so yeah that was it that was all of my ways to help you get out of your funk um those are the ways that help me there are a few more ways i just didn't want this to be super long i can always do a part two if anyone wants i hope you guys enjoyed if you did please give this video a thumbs up subscribe if you have not already and comment down below how you get out of your funk um i'm sure it'll help me as well as whoever else is watching um and i will see you guys in my next video bye Oh, I'm dehydrated. Oh.